This one have a screw for a face. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Dude, that brawn. Whatever. She's looking at the back of you. Oh, I, I am. She's looking There's at the third the photo down. <laughs> <laughs> and she can't tell the difference. What's up, everybody? And we're back with another episode of Four Dummies. But this time, we actually have four dummies. dummies. So joining me today is, of course, our regular host, Mr. Robert Detoff. Hello. I'm definitely, putting, I'm definitely putting the sparkles on that. And, <laughs> a, lot, um, a lot of O's. <laughs> and uh, just one. Yo, what's up? I and, like that we're talking about something dumb, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. And then also <laughs> um, <laughs> joining us this evening is my lovely wife, who has uh, acted like I've ruined her day all day today. The books are <laughs> skull face. You have acted. As soon as I came home. No, like, I haven't. Ugh. You did. You ruined that chunk of my morning, but I got over it. You're in a bad. You're in a bad mood today. She was in a bad mood. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> today we're going to be talking about the final victory. But is it? They are colored images for Warpath and Brawn. This is what last place looks like. <laughs> can I? Can I just say? <laughs> In that victory lap. This is what last place looks like. What do you think of this? I don't know. They look childish. You know, like, I was looking at the brawn specifically, and, like, I know it's cartoon accurate, but it looks like he's wearing, like, a little banana hammock. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? It's like it's like his whole vibe is just like, hey, I think ladies. the drill on the front of this. Whoa truck looks ridiculous oh. too well what about it the does picture? Look ridiculous but... what about the picture where he's doing a little dance i see that <laughs> <laughs> what's up with that guy what's he up to like line dance? who like posed music? these i don't know but i know one thing braun is the life of the party am i right <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually kind of confused because i'm not sure which photo you're referring to <laughs> where he's supposedly doing a little dance because i'm seeing a couple it's the oh, one where he's on. it's the one where he's got like al alternate hands for both yeah, it's like the drill and the little welder. I was I was thinking to myself as I was looking through these, I was like, man, this is the this is like the Achilles heel of seeing something from a prototype which looks pretty good to a painted finished version which looks like Yikers Island. But it the way that they posed it doesn't help it. Like they just did a lot. <laughs> I agree. But yeah. these look like these look like the, the toys that Oliver Twist would have. Like if he went and had more porridge and they were like, No, sorry, you can't have any more porridge, you just gotta go take a couple of these. I mean, do you normally see all those screws? Like, is that a normal thing? It's not. It depends. Yeah, it's not necessarily abnormal, but it, it, it is a bit excessive. But it's just like, look at war. Look how long Warpath's torso is. It's just like, it's, more, it's not like Warpath. It's more like <laughs> more abs. Am I right? <laughs> look at ah. that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> all right, cut to photo of the back of Braun. It's like, Ooh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see it. Uh, oh, the face? Yes. Yeah, but the two, it's the two black squares <laughs> in the black circle. But it's funny because if you look at the back of Warpath, he kind of has a e. <laughs> All right, look. Let's <laughs> <laughs> let's get serious for just a minute. Let's let's start with Warpath. Let's stay on Warpath. Stay on Warpath. Stay on Warpath. The the red does look like paint to me. Yeah. Nah. No. It looks like lots of different colors. Is it just the lighting or it's the it... lighting? No, that's a lot of different colors. Dude, that turret say, is it... a different color red it... than everything else. <laughs> really? Dude, yeah, look at No, the yeah. turret. The turret is a different color. <laughs> the back of this thing isn't actually that bad. It actually looks pretty good from the back. I agree. I'll tell you what bothers me the most. How long that abdomen is with the with the four abs or more abs. And then the tracks look so cheap. Oh, I know. Yeah. And then those two flaps like in the front. Like really you couldn't figure out a way to just make yeah. – even if you just folded those completely forward. Yep, I agree. Yeesh. I love how they're like, look, transformation joint equal toe tilt. So somebody, <laughs> somebody was – I think this was on – Enter the realm. They were talking about if you go to the tank mode, it has like Shameless a five plug. <laughs> a five millimeter port. Let me tell you another issue with this thing. If you look at Warpath, is that white gun with the big hollow square in it? And it's the same <laughs> on the brawn too. I, I think you're gonna talk. Think you're gonna talk about the, the, the 
two white burritos he had glued to his forearms. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, man, Robert doesn't, Robert, no- Robert doesn't care about our no cursing policy. It's all extra editing work for me, Robert. Sorry. This is what I was saying before we got derailed. Before is like in the alt mode, it has a five millimeter port. So somebody was thinking that these were you know enlarged legends. No, they're well, maybe I, I don't think so because it's like it's complicated engineering for the elbows and knees and all these units. Like look I at don't, the hands. Yeah, the hands. The hands are chuggish, ruggish to the bone, but the rest of it is very mp in terms of a, like approach that tank looks like it's got a face from cars on it <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is i need you know i need to be friendly too he'd be a friendly tank he would be a friendly tank. he's like i have a little mustache <laughs> <laughs> Jisk, what were you going to say? I need two molds for each mode. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I I may pick this up. You may oh! pick this up? Are you serious? For which mode? Well, for which mode? The tank mode, probably. But, but really? Look, look at those treads. I feel like the warpath. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> what does this cost? I'm guessing. We, I don't know yet. I'm guessing a hundred bucks. Dude, no way, dude. 80, 80 $69. To, no, 80 to 120 easy. Oh, I'm saying, no way, dude. I'm out. I'm saying 120. Final victory. It's like, it's, <laughs> have a, insert dumb joke there about the prices. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't understand how they could be so, like, because I, I think they do care about presentation. Like, there's tons of paint, I think, on the red. And then there's sculpt work. And there's attempt at cartoon accuracy. But when you look at the treads, it just looks like they were like, you know what? <laughs> Who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody so like we maxed out our budget painting that face with that metallic red. They're like, you know what? Just take it from the track. So. I think that's that Beast Wars chrome, if you ask me. It's that cheap chrome. It's that, dude, what if it's all that leftover paint from the first transistor from KFC? <laughs> Which, you don't think that the bad cube warpath looks like a better tank than this for your alt mode? Oh, absolutely it does, but it doesn't match. Yeah, but like it, especially if I'm gonna go with the fans toys one and then I got this real world tank just coming out of nowhere. Yeah, but it it looks but it, <sighs> like I mean all the vehicles for masterpieces look real worldish for the most part. Like from especially from Takara. Let's move on to Braun. First of all, where's he going with those gold rims? <laughs> How about what's up, teeny hands? What, what, I just don't understand. I, like, so this mold I think is their best mold overall. When you looked at the gray prototypes of it, like this one right, looked I, the best. But like, it just seems like, like, oh, yeah. why wouldn't they paint the helmet in the or, or like use a different color plastic? Like, it just looks so bad. Like, you think it's not? You think it's done? You think that's it? Like, the arms aren't painted and the head's not painted? Wait, I think everything's. Look at the eyes are painted. The face is painted. Uh, wait, I didn't even wait. consider that as a possibility. Sorry, go ahead, Robert. Wait, no. Can we go back to war crap for a minute? <laughs> yeah, all right. The, the one photo with the flaps up showing his missiles. It's just like, look, we got more screws. <laughs> more screws for your enjoyment. Sorry. Are they soft screws, though? That's the they look, This uh, bronze does look like the vehicle mode. I imagine uh, Ja Rule driving that. <laughs> <laughs> Like a real little. With the gun on the top. <laughs> that one picture of the vehicle doesn't look bad to me. No. It by itself. Yeah, the vehicle mode looks the best for Braun. Yeah, uh, but that one know. photo where he looks like he's dancing to Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who posed these? Yeah, here's what I have to say, though. I, I do want to kind of just point out, I mean, nobody talks about it, but just the fact that these guys came out of nowhere and you already have two figures that are about to drop, which. Yeah, that's <laughs> impressive. For that. It's oh, yeah, that's true. It's it's probably a disgruntled employee, insert photo from Office Space, you know, who <laughs> didn't get a shot at his designs. And he went out on his own. And he's going to try it on his own. What do you think the chances are when they started with this brawn that they started with the banana hammock? Oh, right like, away. you know what? <laughs> right I need everything. Everything got to be built around this piece right here. <laughs> So this part is proportioned <laughs> perfectly. Just make everything proportionate to this. Before we close up, is anybody remotely potentially in on this? Just you might be? Banana. I, I mean, I'm interested in just messing with them. You know what I mean? So sometimes to me, that may be worth the cost of buying something. You know, if these are 50 bucks, it's worth to me. They're spe- not going to be $50. Investment. bucks. No, they're not. They'll probably be $79, which is ridiculous. So no, the answer to that, then I'm not in on them. What's, what's your cutoff price? Yeah, uh, 55 is my cutoff. Okay. Oh, 50. come on now. There's yeah. no way. Oh, What's the I last Transformer you bought for $55? Oh, uh, 
the flip out or not the flip out what was the one before that the crack rock one the, yeah the crack rock what yes, uh, exactly yeah. Bobby passed on that one no i got it no he broke that one <laughs> i broke <laughs> that one <laughs> i didn't break that one stop it what about you robert Are you <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to just buy him oh, just to right. send him to you. Anonymously. So you don't know where to send him back. What about you, Boogie? <laughs> what about you, Boogie? You went on these? No, thank oh. you. Mm, me neither. I do have to say this, though, too. I do have to say a red clown nose, the Sphinx with its <laughs> nose. And the worst drawing of your favorite X Men, like the worst one you can find. Dude, the Sphinx with a nose is gonna be crazy hard. <laughs> <laughs> Groucho Marx, like eyeglasses and nose on a Sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> I would say a lonely hippo, a porcupine on a log, <laughs> and fire. <laughs>